Good morning, Mount Olive Church. We want to speak to you about the sermon God gave us yesterday. God had us preach on the rich man and Lazarus out of Luke in chapter 16. And the thought that's still going over my mind is in verse 22, so that the beggar died, which was Lazarus. And then on down in that verse, it says, the rich man also died. And a point that stuck with me yesterday was that the rich man and the poor man, they die. We all face death. And so uh, we're not going to escape death. And I'm reminded of the rich merchant in Baghdad, how that his servant came to him and said, sir, I need your help. I was in the marketplace and a sinister figure bumped into me. I stared him in the face and I'm certain it was death. So I need a horse, master. So that I can flee to Samara, I must escape death. And so then the next day, of course, the rich merchant said, take my horse. And then the next day, the rich merchant went down to the marketplace himself. And there he bumped into a hooded, sinister figure. And he turned and he looked, and guess what? It was Mr. Death. And he said, Mr. Death, why did you scare my servant so much? Why did you do that? And Mr. Death said, I didn't do it on purpose. I was surprised to see him here because you see, I have an appointment with him tomorrow in Samara. And the point of the story is we cannot escape death. And so uh, with that, I want to share today's devotion scripture that I ended yesterday with. And it says in 2 Timothy 1 and 10, but now in this present time, at this moment, on this Monday, this is a personal, this is a personal appeal. But now, in this moment, it's made manifest. It's clear. It's shown. It's understandable. By the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And he's my Savior. I hope he's yours. I've accepted him. I hope you have. My Savior, Jesus. Who, not only has he saved me, but he has abolished death and brought life and immortality to life. When people say, well, aren't you scared of death? We can say, no, I'm not afraid of death. I don't want to die. I'm uncomfortable about death. I don't look forward to it. But there's no fear in death of the believer. Why? Because we trust our Savior, Jesus Christ. And he died on a cross for us so that we would, look, have life. He brought life. That's eternal life. And that life is then characterized by immortality, which means never a decay, never an ache, no more death. He died on a cross. He died so we could live and have eternal life. And then it says that not only that, but through his resurrection, he has broken the power of death for us. Look at, what, look at this word abolished, to nullify, to make ineffective, to cancel, to render useless to make it powerless, to make it empty. Jesus has abolished death for me and for you, if you'll believe in him. I like to think of it this way, in a figurative scene. You know, I trust Jesus in death. And this figurative scene says that there was a time when death laid his bony fingers on our Lord. He drug Jesus into the dungeon of death. He put him on a cold slab and he bound this Jesus in chains, the chains of death. One day passed, two days passed, three days passed, and death laughed and clapped his bony hands. Ha ha, I've, I have him. I have him forever. But then all of a sudden on that third day, Jesus stood up. That's resurrection. He broke the chains of death. A look of fear came on the face of death as Jesus reached up and pulled death from his throne. He threw death into the dungeon floor. The crown rolled off of death's head and the keys fell off of his side into the floor. Jesus put his heel on the neck of death. He reached in and pulled up the keys of death and hell and took the crown and put it on his own head and reached down and like a stinger from a bee, he pulled the sting out of death. 
now Jesus wears that crown. And he walked out of that tomb, risen and living and victorious, and as our Savior who has abolished death. Surely we can sing, because he lives today, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because he lives, I can live also. He has abolished death. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope you take this devotion uh, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.